Hi guys, it's Richard Labs. My name is Ro, and today I'm gonna give you some advices, some tips based on my personal experience on, on Solana, on my like FOMO catching or something like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you understand it, you won't uh, make mistakes. Mistakes I made but before this video starts please guys subscribe to my youtube channel it will really helps me a lot and send link uh from this video to your friends who are in crypto let's go my first tip my first advice is to do not give up if for example you entered the mint and you couldn't mint do not give up do not uh, become tilted do not become sad like oh my god i haven't mint like uh, i don't care about it it's trash uh, okay whatever uh, i don't care what profits it will give me as i've done some as i'm doing sometimes still so yeah if for example you haven't mint the collection and you uh first of all you can catch it on the secondary market straight into the listing for example this og atadians was 1.5 and and I haven't minted it because it was like only two seconds and it was sold out. So I couldn't mint it it's at all. But I could enter the second market and it was like 1.7, 1.9 or 2. And you can see the price now. This is a free profit. This is a huge profit as well from one nft so do not give up if you haven't minted go to the secondary market try to snipe it there was a video about the uh, extension you can download it and you can see the number of the mint and if you see the orange one if you see number of mint like 500 200 you can just try to buy it out and get a huge profit for yourself uh, and even if you have missed the mint even if you have missed the listing you can still catch some gains because again if the collection is interesting if it got a huge audience if it got a unique interesting conception it will grow up still as we saw uh, as an example on astrals or og at audience it just skyrocketed to the from 1.5 to 3.5 3.2 and then it started to going down to 3.2 3.1 maybe even 3 uh, so one time and even if you missed the even if you miss the mint, even if you, if you miss the listing on the secondary markets, uh, you just see that this interesting collection with this interesting conception, a big audience, a lot of activity and all other stuff, you can just try to outbite it and still earn from that like 1.5, 1.7 soul for only few days uh, the same thing was with australs uh, they went up to from 1.5 or from 2 I don't care, I don't really know, oh, that doesn't even matter mm. They went, let's say, for even from two soul to like uh, four, four, five. Then they just went down to 3.7, 3.5. And we could easily outbite it from 3.7, 3.5 and get for ourselves 1.3 or 1.5 soul uh, clear profit so just don't give up and if interesting collection with big audience interesting idea conception uh, strong fundamentally is going down you can try to outbuy the outbuy it and still catch some gains because in crypto in solana there is no uh word like late again you can still try to catch in the secondary market after the mint even if you say even if you miss the listing on the secondary markets you can still try to catch it catch it when it will go down and catch some profits as we can see on the examples right here my second tip for you guys is to be really patient because if the game if the project have really interesting idea it will go up uh, one time maybe not in one day maybe not in a few days maybe even not in a week but it will go up as we saw with the desolate metaverse uh, we could catch about 0.7 soul only for a few days again but we could see uh, some like stuck floor in here which is not going up at all but if we just waited a bit it will go up because again we just understand that uh, the desolate metaverse is a huge metaverse if you buy nft you own your own plan and they already have uh, a working product they got a huge audience and other stuff like that so my recommendation for you guys is just to be patient because i've bought um 
for example, what works about here and I sold it right here or here. I was, uh, I, I, I lost a little bit or it was about the zero. Uh, but if I wait just a bit, it just went up really hard and I just can could get about like three or two two or three sole profits easily just from a few days so yeah guys just be patient if the project is really interesting if like ask yourself when you want to sell it out for like zero profit or for even some minus profit uh on profit i just ask yourself why i bought it why i bought it was it this project is it so interesting for example as it was with what works you ask yourself why i bought this project then you understand they got a lot of sneak peeks from the game they got a working game they got a lot of videos from this game this game is looking like a triple a project and probably when they will um when they launch it the price will just skyrocket there is a lot of interesting news are coming up and if you got a lot of arguments for yourself if you got a lot of green flags for yourself you just don't sell it so yeah guys my second tip is just uh, be patient do not rush even if the price is about like zero floor from your uh like zero profit from your uh, bot still just wait a bit sometimes it could be three days five days seven days ten days maybe even two week but if the project is strong fundamentally if it's interesting it will go up someday maybe not so soon as you wanted but it will go up so just don't sell it out do not like cut someone or paper hand and the last one i understood that on the sugar realm before i thought that the volume is everything and all collections that i saw with the high volume they just skyrocket they got uh, they get the huge profits for you i've minted that for 1.5 then i could sell it for 1.8 i believe and get like 0 0.15 0 0.2 uh, clear profit easy profit but i haven't done it because i th i saw like 2000 volume or or 3000 volume sold for only 20 30 minutes and i thought oh my god with this volume they will go up guaranteed but they haven't because i haven't looked at this total listing count uh, there was like uh, 1500 oh no why 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 1800 at first then it was 2000 and then it was uh, then just for a minute they added 200 nfts it was 2200 nfts just added and the floor price wasn't moving then i could sell it still for some profits but if you see that the volume are growing but total listing are growing as well the price would not go up because there are only some flippers in here only guys who want to catch uh, quick gains and the collections like that will not grow grow up really hard because uh, only like really hard grow up only collections where is a lot of holders where everyone's buying and no one's selling this is kind of obvious uh, so yeah if you see the volume is rising but total listing are listed are not moving or going up the price will not go up and if the total listing count are really going up hard and you see like uh, plus 200 nfts for a few minutes just uh, sell it out for zero profit or for little profit even because the price will go down really really soon what i understood uh, just like one day ago i believe this was my tips for Solana flipping NFTs. I hope it was useful for you guys. I hope you can use these tips in your trades. I hope you won't make make any mistakes that I've made because uh, it's really hurt when you're losing your money, when you don't understand something, when the floor price is going down, when you catch FOMO uh, all the time. This is really bad. This really can hit you psychologically and all other stuff. So I hope guys you won't do my mistakes and again i hope this video was useful i hope you will get a lot of profits from your solana flips subscribe to my youtube channel guys hit the like button and see ya